Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Josh from Smitty's Maintenance Repair here. I want to go over a great little product that Automotive Test Solutions has just put out called the Pressure Pro. The Pressure Pro allows you to run their ATS pressure transducers on any scope, four channel, that you may already own, the Barris, the Pico, or the Altel. Let's take a closer look at the Automotive Test Solutions Pressure Pro. On the back side, there's a slot for six AA batteries, so it has a self-contained power source and there's no hooking it up to the vehicle for power and ground. They also put an on-off switch that lights up two LEDs, the first one being on and the second one letting you know that the battery is okay. They put a zero calibration knob so that you can zero it in on your scope and get a true accurate measurement reading. The other thing that they did was they color coordinated it to the intelligent engine analyzer software. Blue, green, and yellow. Blue being the negative 30 vacuum pressure transducer. Green being the 300 PSI pressure transducer. And yellow being the ex exhaust pressure transducer. The WPS 500 is a very good sensor. It has three sensors built into one. The problem with that is when you're doing engine analysis, you need to overlay all three pressure waveforms at the same time. You would need three WPS 500s to do that. The nice thing about the Pressure Pro from Automotive Test Solutions is that it allows you to overlay all three sensors at the same time for about the same price as one WPS 500 kit. Now let's take a look at the Pressure Pro in use. Just like the e-misfire software, the instructions come up and tell you to place the exhaust tailpipe pressure transducer into the yellow slot and the red, red to an ignition sink misfire. Now let's start it up and see what it looks like. Now let's look at the data that was collected. The screen on the, on the left is the e-misfire software. The screen on the right is a capture using the Pressure Pro. Now you don't get the misfire counters and the firing order that is offered in the e-misfire. But by knowing that you're triggered on cylinder one in the red and that the exhaust pocket for cylinder one is here, we can now count off the firing order. One, three, four, two. We know that there's a misfire on the cylinder three misfire. This is the same vehicle captured with the E misfire showing the deep vacuum pull here when the cylinder misfires. Now let's use the all telescope and take a look at a known good cranking waveform. Just like the intelligent engine software we're going to add the blue vacuum pressure transducer and the green 300 PSI pressure transducer. Now let's take a look at this known good cranking waveform. Right off the bat we can tell all our compression hits are even. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Our towers aren't leaning. All our intake pulls are equal and as so is our exhaust pools. If you enjoyed this video on the Automotive Test Solutions Pressure Pro, you can find more information on our website at automotivetestsolutions.com.